week is all about how to get your online boutique started. So actually, I got this question so often that it actually made me want to start an online boutique from scratch right now. And so this is a brand new category that I've actually never even sold before. So I wanted to test this out. I just kind of expected to test out, you know, a few marketing strategies, you know, and give it a try and make a few sales. But we're actually already at over $10,000 in sales for the month of March. And that's just launching December 11th. It's had some crazy growth and it's in a very saturated category. It's baby clothes. So the first First thing that I would say that's really, really important to stand out online is to have a product that people want, right? You can't sell anything um, to people if they don't want it. With that being said, though, I do feel like you can sell anything online. If there is a customer for it, finding that customer and getting in front of them to be able to sell your product. The second thing I'll say that's really, really, really important online. So if they go to your website and it's, you know, kind of janky, you don't really have great photos, somebody's not going to buy from you, even if you have, if you know you have a great product. That's definitely the main, main thing that we want to focus on is your branding, your photos, everything visual on your website is it speaking to your target customer but that I really get into your customer during the workshop but it's super super important to obviously know who your customer is because you need to know what to actually create to put in front of them to get them excited and so I like to actually obviously do a lot of research before you know you're launching so research your competitors see what they're doing or even go to you know online boutiques or online shops that you like to shop at and see what they're doing see what actually motivates you to buy so go to a new brand say you've never heard of a boutique or this brand before what excites you about their brand and what makes you want to make that first purchase and that's really kind of what we're going after is to get a feeling of excitement or really any sort of like emotional reaction to your brand so it's branding is a lot more than you know pretty colors and fonts that's all great but you also want to create an emotion in your potential customers or your buyers and obviously in the baby category that's pretty easy to do with baby pictures any mom that sees a baby picture pretty much has an emotional reaction to it if it's like a super cute baby we can see our own baby in that photo or imagine them wearing those clothes so that's a really good way to be able to um, create emotion with somebody that's going to be coming to your website or going to your social media page. And you definitely want to have the like cohesive branding that I talk about a lot too over like all of your social media pages, your website, you want everything to look really good and really cohesive. So when somebody's coming to I, any of your, whether it's on TikTok or wherever, everything looks put together and they can tell it's from the same brand. So I also wrote down some notes so I don't forget what I want to say to you guys. So I want to talk a little bit more about photos and that's kind of like the last thing that I want to touch on is just the pictures. So not just your social media pictures but your actual um, pictures for your products. A lot of vendors will let you use their photos but there's some that won't. So the ones that don't you definitely are going to have to take your own pictures or hire a photographer. I actually even hired a photographer for an hour to teach me how to use my camera to take my own photos. So those are a few options that you can use to take your own photos to get really great photos for your website. You can either get the vendor photos, hire a photographer, or maybe if you're not good at taking pictures yourself, hire a photographer to teach you how to actually use your camera and take the pictures that you want to take. So yeah, so that those are my ways that you can stand out as an online boutique in a saturated market. I know that a lot of people are so concerned about this, but it's really like it's you can still be successful in 2021 as an online boutique owner. This isn't something that's like, oh, I shoot, I missed out on my opportunity. There's already so many people out there. I'll never be able to compete. I really tested that out for you. I tested it out launching just in 
December of 2020. And like I said, it's already March and we're at over $10,000 in sales. So it's not something that it's like, oh, I missed the boat and I'm just not going to follow my dreams and open a boutique. No, I'm here to tell you that absolutely you can stand out in whichever category that you're going after. 